Hi, this is Perry Kemp and my wife, Victoria. We are the chairs for this year's Eagle annual fund campaign. Vicki and I were one of the first parents that started North Cobb Christian School 40 years ago. It's hard for us to wrap our heads around that number, but we know that God has been forever faithful for us. Uh, it's not us that started North Cobb Christian, it was God that started it and God that continued it. So we are happy to come back 40 years later after our children have completed uh, North Cobb Christian and we want to support the annual fund the best way we can. We think it's a lot of fun to look back 40 years and see how it's changed. And it has changed a lot. Um, it was kind of scary in the beginning but every year that went by it got it got well it got worse for a while because we really were growing and we had children coming and getting teachers and it was a lot a lot of moving parts at that time but we just were clinging to God's faithfulness and asking him to help us and and he always came through and he's continuing to come through it began at Grace Brethren Church with a K through three school that was part of the church. And just as we joined the school, the church said that they were ready to get out of the school business. So us and three other couples looked at each other and said, no, the school has to keep going. So we actually rented the school education wing back from the church for a period of three years. Our rent was to replace the carpet and repaint the entire education wing every year. We finally decided that it was time for us to leave mutually with the church and we needed some uh, property to get started so we started searching and God provided that property right here where we are sitting. It took seven closings to put the real estate together in order to put that first little building down. And that was the hard part is to get the bank loan in the middle of the Jimmy Carter years and pay high interest rates. And we got to a point where we had to uh, really struggle and the bank was putting the pressure on us because our mortgage was only $14,000 a month and we had less than 100 students. Uh, what happened was on a Sunday afternoon, I called a meeting of all the families and it was a small group, maybe 30 families. And I just told them straight up that tomorrow morning the bank was gonna foreclose on us unless we came up with $60,000. Um, they listened to what I said and somebody said, pass the hat. And I said, you don't understand. We need $60,000 right now. You can't make a pledge. You can't make an IOU. You've got to put cash check or money order in that hat because in the morning I have to pay that $60,000 note. They passed the hat and it came back less than $60,000. And so I told them that's, that's fine, it, it's over. They're gonna foreclose on the school and my house and it would be okay. And somebody said, pass the hat again. So we passed the hat the second time and we had $80,000 in our possession. After I picked myself up off the floor, we decided that we just saw a miracle. God had just told us, it was that point that God told us that North Cobb Christian would continue no matter what we had to struggle with, what we had to do. And from that point on, we confidently went forward, never missed a payment on anything, always paid our debts, always made sure that we were doing the right thing, number one for the students, number two for the teachers. And we were going to put a lot of Christian educated students out into the world. Here we are 40 years later, Vicki and I are just stunned every time we go by the school We've always wanted to keep a low profile these years because 
when you have a board, you, you shouldn't get stale. You should have new people coming on and you should have new talents. And we just wanted to kind of stay in the background. But somehow here we are, chairman of the uh, current Eagles All-In Fund. And uh, we are very happy to do that. Uh, we want to lead this the best we can. Uh, we've got a lot of people behind us and I know that we're going to meet our goals and we're going to be all in.